Hi, my name is Tanya. Welcome to Integra E configuration installation video series. In this episode, you are going to learn how to configure and bench test Integra E Link. I currently have Integra E Link on the bench with the office paper pack in between. I can see RSSI LED blinking, but it's blinking very slowly. So I have to start configuring the link. Let's start with the low side first for which the IP address is 192.168.205.10. The default credentials are admin and the password is change me. This is going to take us to the main screen where we can see that there is no data available about the remote side unit and that received signal level is very low. That is because the link is not configured yet. To start configuring, you have to press Modify. At this point, I'm going to configure only the minimum required parameters that are necessary for the radius to start talking to each other. I'm going to try to achieve full throughput of 10 gigabits per second, so I need to select maximum bandwidth uh, and the highest modulation 128QM with ACMB enabled because I want the link to downshift the modulations and also bandwidth in case RF signal starts to degrade. I will set the transmit power to the maximum of 12 dBm. Now I have to press execute configuration to apply the changes. This is going to take a couple seconds. And always remember to hit the save button after you apply the changes in configuration. When that is done, I'm going to physically plug my PC to the second PoE injector data port to access the management of the high side unit. And for that unit, the default IP address is uh, 192.168.205.11. The uh, credentials are the same, admin, and the password is change me. I'm going to configure the same parameters for this radio. The same bandwidth, the same modulation with ACMB, and the transmit power is going to be set to 12 dBm. Executing the configuration, and now saving the configuration. Now let's uh, go to the main screen status and uh, see what happens. Uh, we can now see the data about the remote side unit. The received levels are NEC 37 dBm. Uh, the MEC, which is signal noise indicator value, is around NEC 30 and NEC 31 dB on both sides. The signal quality is uh, good enough for radios to talk to each other. Modems are also locked on both sides, meaning radios are synchronized. My modulation levels are 128QM in one direction and 64QM in the other direction. For this bench test, I would actually like to see 128QM in both directions to achieve and test 10 gigabits per second full duplex connection. To simulate better quality signal, I'm going to take few sheets out of my office paper stack uh, now I'm placing the Integra unit back and let's see what the signal quality is now. Now it looks like uh, we got it. The noise level MEC is uh, a little bit better, our signal is cleaner and I was actually able to achieve 128QM in both directions. ACM shifts modulations based on uh, this MEC level thresholds. You can also see that the Ethernet capacity in both directions is 10 gigabits per second. At this point, you might want to perform Ethernet test as part of your bench testing. I would also suggest to configure other parameters like IP address for both units, uh, definitely change the default password, and in system configuration, set the correct time zone and also name the units with correct site IDs. It is also recommended to configure management uh, VLAN for both units. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found this video useful, please hit the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel.